Come and talk about innovation. Uh, I think innovation is key and uh, it's centered to launching a startup, which is what I'm doing. Like, you know when innovation happens if everybody starts telling you that what you do is totally wrong, for example. It's disruptive. So I think it's very important here to uh, meet with people from different, you know, uh, sectors that you don't meet and the World Economic Forum is perfect for this. I, I met academics this morning, researchers, people I don't always talk to. Now you, a French, second. I'm sorry, could you move about? Not quite that far, split the perfect. Let me shift a little bit. See, now, now it's well-centered brand recognition. All right. Now you are a Frenchman who moved from Paris to San Francisco. Presumably that had something to do with innovation. Explain that. Yeah, the, I created four companies in, uh, for startups in France, in Europe, uh, and I was very frustrated because I, I was happy because I sold a few of them to American companies, but my big frustration is that most of the U.S. Internet leaders, of the world Internet leaders, are in the U.S. And what, what happens is that the, it's very difficult if you're not based in Silicon Valley to get the same attention that you're getting from here and then to get to the same market size. Like, for example, we, have, uh, we need 20 plus languages in Europe to reach these 300 million people. Whereas here you launch and you have 300 million people, you get attention quite fast. So I decided to move here. And uh, it, it's, it's, it's a paradox, of course, because on one hand you say the Internet is global, you could be anywhere. And on the other hand, you know, we're saying innovation, you know, it's, you can be anywhere as long as you are in Silicon Valley. Interesting. <laughs> well, you're an Internet guy. One of the things that's come up here on a number of occasions already is this tension between the idea of these geographic clusters and the notion that here comes everybody. You know, you can connect using technology with people anywhere. How are you on that spectrum? Do you believe that innovation opportunity is fundamentally shifting because of the new ability of people to communicate electronically? Innovation is shifting because of the way people can communicate today, clearly with Twitter, I, for example, with all the social software and Facebook and uh, Sysmic, which I'm launching, you can stay in touch with your community all day long. And that changes everything. I get my news from there. I get tons of new ideas from, from this community. And that is outside of the normal way you get ideas and uh, innovation. It's changing the deal because it's not coming from the same voices. Like, for example, in, in Twitter, I listen to about 10,000 people and they, they, about 10,000 people listen to me. So that's a community of about 10,000 people that I interact with all, all day long and who are not, um, who are not you know, people that I just talk to, right? I listen a lot. And these are not, like, very few are coming from Silicon Valley. Maybe the most influential are here in Silicon Valley, but I get a huge amount of information and innovation ideas from outside. So but it's changing the deal, I but think. But it's interesting, even though you just said that, and you also said that you still felt you had to be in San Francisco. So clearly, it hasn't changed the landscape enough that the geographic clusters no longer matter. There is something which is clearly broken, um, that when I speak at a conference here, which happens quite often, I always start by I'm based in San Francisco. Because with my accent, everybody thinks I'm not relevant by default. So I have to say, look, I'm, I'm based here, and then you know, it, it feels better already for people. It's sad, but maybe I should fix my accent, forget it, it's never going to happen. But see, it's, it's, it's this you know, belonging to a club between you know San Francisco and San Jose, then you're part of this club. And if you're not, by default, there's something missing. And I think that technology is not changing this. What technology is not changing either is, I mean, the cultural, the social life, like the leaders are here. So right now there are like free dinners or parties every single night here. And this you cannot replace. You know, like, like, you know, the events, every, you know, it, it's, this is why I launched the web in Europe, which is 37 countries, because everything was, was there. But that is not replaced by technology. The fact of meeting you here in person is still different. Okay. What's the most interesting thing you've heard so far today? Um, Surprising thing. Uh, the most interesting to me was, again, this conversation with people I don't talk to uh, uh, generally. And the most interesting thing, for me, the events and the World Economic Forum is, is the best uh, of all for this uh, 
you know, quality of a, a community is to meet the community. So one thing I have uh, uh, that, that is amazing for me this morning was to uh, meet uh, the head of a community that is addressing 7,000 um, illness uh, as a scientist that are not addressed by, uh, by drugs. You, do, you can't find drugs in the world for 7,000 um, uh, health diseases you can have. And he's addressing this through a totally decentralized community of scientists and researchers and even entrepreneurs to address this. And that's amazing. So you see, this is more about meeting amazing people and then learning from them that to me uh, it makes this type of event uh, from the World Economic Forum so valuable. Good, thank you. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs>